everyone, welcome to my Blu-ray update. Um, some of these are titles that I've gotten like over a week ago, and then I have some newer pickups from like Best Buy, Walmart, and stuff like that. So to start things off, sorry about that, the phone was ringing, but to get back into it, first up is The Unholy Four. A film by E.B. Clutcher, uh, starring Leonard Mann and Woody Stroh. I really like that artwork. And this is from Kino Lorber. And it's The Unholy Four. And on the back, it says it's from 1970, 95 minutes. It's 1080p and not rated. So... I was just trying to beef up my spaghetti western, and this was one of the titles I picked up. It interested me, at least the uh, cover art did. Uh, next thing up is Barbarossa. I mean, you know, I haven't seen this movie, but come on, Willie Nelson and Gary Busey, no said. So I was definitely interested. You know, especially a western with Willie Nelson and Gary Busey. And let's see. Well, it's from Scorpion Releasing. And you do get bonus features on camera interview with director Fred Shepisi. <laughs> on camera interview with co stars Danny D. Lopez. And Alma Martinez, original trailer and isolated music and effects track. So that definitely interested me when I saw who was in the movie. So that was Barbarossa. And when was this out again? 1982. 90 minutes, it's PG. And then next up is an action film from the creator of Miami Vice, and that is Band of the Hand. So, <clears throat> this is an interesting flick that actually I've never heard of before, but I've seen the trailer to it, and it looks pretty cool. And this is put out by Mill Creek Entertainment. And there's the back, and of course no bonus features, it's rated R, it's an hour and 50 minutes. So that's pretty cool. And then the newer pickups, I got this from Best Buy, Whiplash, I've heard a lot of good things about it, and haven't, you know, checked it out yet. And there's the bonus features. And it does come with digital HD. And then last but definitely not least, Train to Busan. A really excellent uh, zombie flick. Um, oddly enough, I saw this on Amazon for $29. I don't know if it's gone down yet or not, but I got my copy for $14 at Walmart. And it comes with a few bonus features. Behind the scenes, that's a wrap, English language available, and trailer. And it's put out by WellGo USA, the people that's also putting out the uh, Phantasm box set. Uh, they already put out like uh, the remastered uh, Phantasm and Phantasm Ravager. And they're going to be releasing the box set. This is an excellent zombie flick. It sort of reminds me of the movie of HAL and World War Z, but a better version of that. And what I like about this movie is you have characters that you actually like, characters you hate, characters you started out hating, and then you like closer to the end. And there's like this big ass Korean dude who's like beating the shit out of zombies with his fists and shit. It is so awesome. You definitely got to check it out if you haven't seen it. And that's the train to Busan. I want to thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great one.